I knew it. I want to be a fantastic woman. Is he? <clears throat> I once dated a fancy. Mm-hmm. And at the point, I think it wasn't working. Okay. So I needed a way to break up with her. And so I had to lie. That my mommy said, my mommy was a fancy. Ah! Yeah. When mommy doesn't even know her. Ooh. Or our relationship. Mm-hmm. So it might be the guy lied on mommy. Mm-hmm. That is one. Two. My mommy said, men for be that. Okay. How can a, a grown, grown man man mm-hmm. come and tell me that my mom may say he don't want to say worry? How? 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 Yeah. Uh, you see, I think you know the part that killed me was, and I'm pregnant. Yeah, uh, yeah. That she's pregnant now. I don't know, but they both have issues. Mm-hmm. Um, they might have a lot of issues when they go into marriage okay. because my mommy is still there. Mm-hmm. Till mommy is gone, you are going to be controlled. Mm-hmm. And so it is It is going to be a toxic one for her. Okay. If it's not too late, I don't believe in these things. But if, not, if it's not too late, she should just back out because mm-hmm. it's going to be a long, wonderful and beautiful journey for her if she goes into this marriage. Because hmm. my mommy said there. Hmm. No, 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 no. It's either mommy is feeding him or he needs a good job mm-hmm. or he needs to start making money. What if he has all those things? But you know, there's some people that because they, are, they grew up with their mom, they have that attachment. So whatever she says go so it's easy for a mother to manipulate the son easily now you need to be your own man to run your own life mommy shouldn't be the one running your life for you Mm -hmm. you see a man should i think in the western world 18 years you are you can even live on your own yeah from home here for some situations i'll give you up to 30. Uh? 30, you can still be at home. Oh, there are some homes that you are there, but they are collecting. <laughs> they are collecting what I let Shout out to Ed, Ed and I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, no, my mom took that route. You learn how to yeah, yeah, yeah. pay water bill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at the end of the month, you co- and you know, it did a lot of good for us because there are certain things that I have right now in the, in the mom, like saucepans and your anchor to be that. <laughs> she said, okay, bring them money. Like I said, GTP into my anchor to be that. <laughs> she was the one who kept, you know, reminding you, like, buy those things as a woman. You get me? There's some homes in Ghana. Let's not take some homes in Ghana. The parents will straighten you up yeah, and make yeah, sure yeah. you do that. But you see, it shouldn't get to the where you're controlling. In fact, telling the guy who to date and what to do in his or I mean her the relationship, relationship yeah. is not is not done. I think you should be your own man mm-hmm. if you want to even go into a relationship. You cannot go and stress somebody's daughter. And then this daughter too is another problem. How can you tell me after all these things being said mm-hmm. and I'm pregnant? <laughs> and I'm pregnant. I was enjoying the story until reading, 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 and I saw and I'm pregnant. And I was like, Wow. It's okay, you just No, because she loved him and then she wanted to prove probably want, she didn't think about it. No, you're pregnant, and you don't love him as much. Now you're pregnant, and you don't love him as much. Why wait till you get pregnant? Maybe it's a pregnancy minutes. hormones. The Bible says <laughs> that <laughs> the Bible says that when I was a child, I, I talked like a child. child yeah. I thought like a child. Mm-hmm. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm-hmm. That's man, or supposedly a man, is not a man. He's a child. Mm-hmm. Now the question I'm asking myself is: Is he staying with his mom, Good or question. he's no longer staying with his mom? Mm-hmm. Because there could be the instance where he's staying with his mom. So, yes, his mom is making those back-end choices for him. Yeah. But if he's no longer staying with his mom and he makes decisions himself, himself, mm-hmm. then why are you saying that my mom says 
we should have a child. We should have a child first. Wait, what did your mom see? Or say she doesn't, the mom said, he exactly. d- uh, she doesn't what trust your, your mom girlfriend. See to say that I cannot give birth after I'm married. No, the thing that is happening recently, I think I was just on social media about 30 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. And, I, and in the comment section of one person's post, they asked, why is, why is it that it's become so normal? For people to accept a baby daddy, baby mommy thing yeah. going on. Like now, women have just become... Used to it. Baby given machines. They should just give birth. It's okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone to get married. If that is your choice, or maybe you have some medical conditions that you cannot wait till you get married, that's fine. But get pregnant before you get married to me. Am I not worthy of being married to before I get pregnant? Now, now that I'm pregnant, the, the, the possibility of you getting married to me has reduced from 50 to 25. Mm-hmm. Your mother now can say that a kolane kra on sewo. Hey! What can I say? Your mother can say that. And will you stand by me then? Because she doesn't trust me. So if she says that Akolani Kronsa, what would the end chain only one year answer? Hey, what the end chain only two years? Before you realize, he, your mother has brought in another woman to him, and they are married, and they they they, they are pregnant with twins. <laughs> <laughs> so baby girl, like Martin said, if it's not too late, flee. Mm. Because, you know, when you started with the angle of the Bible, even the Bible says that, you know, you don't do those things. So, and exactly. I'm a boy. Now, yeah, yes, you, you g- God, they, now, you, <laughs> who gives children? Isn't it God? I, I so, as your mother said, it, you, know, you, the man, no, you couldn't say, it, Abba, ma. And you are in a man in Kola. That even brings and then, my mind to the fact that your husband is not even spiritual. And marriage is God, you, girl, you and then fire. wife. Mm. So now we have another third party. I think we had a discussion last week about marriage. Mm-hmm. The, the, the situation or in a marriage where there was the fourth party, mm-hmm. the fifth party, the, mm-hmm. the mother, the father, the siblings, the friends. I was listening to a short um, video by Prophetess Leslie Few mm-hmm. earlier in the day today. And she was saying that in marriage... Mm-hmm. When the enemy decides to fight you in a certain angle, mm-hmm. he will make you and your husband or you and your wife stop having sex because it is at that point of vulnerability in the bed when you both are naked. That's when certain discussions can come up. So the moment both of you stop having, then that's where I'm not listening to you no more. I don't take your decisions. I'm giving my mother money. You don't have to know. My mother says something. I cannot tell you. My friend says something. Me and my friends, me and my girls, me and my boys are having this. You cannot know. Mm-hmm. And that's where certain things begin to happen. Baby girl, this this very introduction into marriage is even zero over ten. Mm-hmm. So I, you want to get married that desperately? Or what? I, I'm sure. I think right now, no. With the, the latter part of it, like um, Martin said, it was funny for him. I think she's regretting that decision. Probably she might. You know how we women ask. So I'm asking for a friend, but we are asking for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And probably somebody has said, ah, you lose God. Mm-hmm. Or probably she spoke to a male friend who mm-hmm. said no. No. You know how some of our male friends would tell you, boy and blank, Charlie. Mm-hmm. You know, you 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 lose God. Mm-hmm. You do yawa. Mm-hmm. But this one, dear, because at what point? Couldn't they, like one of the callers said, couldn't they, Martin, couldn't they, um, couldn't they, have, have they, like, gone test. to check yeah. if they are fertile? Mm-hmm. Mommy, I, so at this point, mommy doesn't know about whatever has happened. The boy just wanted to do something and he's done it. Do what? He just wanted to get a child. Then your ins- he like then, then what I'm getting from him is that he can't stand on his own two feet. His yeah. insecurities are screaming louder than Loud. he, the human being. Thank Red you. flag. Mommy doesn't know. Red knee. It is crimson. Move. Everything. It is going into different. Di- this one, they're not red flag. Oh. Crimson. Red flag. Thick as, thick as blood. It's very red. He, he he just made his own decisions. It's not mommy. If mommy does that, then he might need 
mommy's permission to have sex. <laughs> Oh, that ain't gonna happen though. Yeah. yeah if you're gonna call it's your mama, be, you, you come have to, to you call one your day and tell your mommy says that you come and have sex with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. let's say mommy knows about it, right? And now they get married. There will be there will, there will, there will, there will be a point in their marriage where he wouldn't not even eat your food. I'm going to my mom's place to eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> mommy says I should eat. Nah. <laughs> See, I want to ask this question. It's just floating in my head. Kovi Eford. Thank yes, you for madam. joining us, and you're proving a lot, so we can tell. The boys are also waiting for the schnapp sentence, and uh, they've agreed. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> oh yeah, you heard I, me I right. Didn't. Anyway, let me let me let me pose this question to you and and Martin by you first. Being a man mm. and showing your parents that you were a man, mm. it, it stems from you, the man, right? Yes, I guess. It stems from you, like, you know, making very serious decisions, putting yeah. your foot yeah, down. It from you. And you're, as, as you, I know you and your mama, you close. Mm. Yeah, does your mama push you around? Because she a good woman, though. I think we've had this conversation um, just about a month ago. You and your mom? No, no, no. I mean, elsewhere with the boys. On BMPS, the BMPS yeah. show, yeah. We had, we had a conversation about who a mommy's boy is. And I think at the end of the day, mm-hmm. we agreed that the term mommy's boy has been misrepresented um, because people are now um, kind of suggesting that to be a mommy's boy means to have a good relationship with your mom. But let's put this disclaimer out. If that means being a mommy's boy, then I, like I said on the show, I would gladly accept that I'm a mommy's boy. Mm-hmm. But being a mommy's boy has got nothing to do with having a very good relationship with your mom. Yeah. It's got everything to do with the level of power, control that your mom has in your life. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> I read the story. Don't know told me about this. I'm like, okay, that's clearly a stupid guy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right? It's, he's just stupid. That, that's it. There are two things involved. It's either he's telling the truth One. with regards to his mom asking him to impregnate the girl before they get married, or he's using his mom as a yardstick, thinking that the girl would say, oh, okay, well, if your mom said them, blah, blah, blah. But mind you, any serious girl mm-hmm. would run away. Any serious girl would run away from such a guy. Did you two have a meeting? No, I mean I just got in. I, wow. I, I haven't I haven't okay. seen him so today. I, I, when we say men are the same, <laughs> yeah, I mean because 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 Charlie, I mean whose daughter are you gonna tell this story? That your mom says that you, for what? Really? Yeah, like for what? If you, if you see if you want to find out whether or not a woman is fertile. capable of fertile or capable of having kids. I mean, there are so many ways of finding out. You can go and check if she produces eggs, you know, if she ovulates, if she's having a very um, clean and good and accurate cycle. You can check all those things yeah. at the hospital. You don't need to impregnate her first. And besides, who told you that these days women are thinking marriage is a trophy? Nope, it's not. You, you understand? Yes, so, the, the, well, yeah, of course, there are always exceptions. And, and that's my problem. I mean, um, I I feel like women should be empowered enough to make decisions that hitherto they wouldn't make 10 years or 20 years ago. Yeah. Because, I mean, a guy like this, he's, he's clearly, a, he's a cheat. I think so. So it's one of those two things that I mentioned. It's either he's telling lies, it's, not, it's got nothing to do with his mom, yeah. mm-hmm. or... It's got everything to do with his mom, and his mom is going to control his life when he's married to you. So there is no way you have to be with this girl. And setting yourself free starts from accepting that the fact that you have a child out of wedlock doesn't make you um, whatever word people want to use Baby for. Baby mama or whatever. What, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what if you get married to the guy and the guy dies? <laughs> do, do, do you understand? I, I, do, and I, so, I do want a yeah. period. And yeah. So man. I mean you so see I think um let me give you this example. You've dated a girl for ten years. You are thirty now. So you started dating when you were twenty. For okay. example, it's it's just an example, okay, right? So I know um, you know a lot of people, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I know situations like and, that. And then you want to get married at thirty, so you are almost getting married, and then you discover that there are 
quite a number of things about the girl that you don't like mm -hmm. or there are quite a number of things about the guy you don't that like. you don't like what are you going to do let him go but you see a lot of people are going to say oh i'm going to start afresh this that 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 but there's one there's one equation that i always use yes my love if i'm going to live and die at age 60 or 70 and i'm 30 now if i'm going to die at age 70 i'm going to spend the rest of my 40 years on earth with you is it worth it is it worth it spending the next 40 years with you or leaving you and discarding the 10 years that has already elapsed. I, I will take the leaving you. <laughs> you, you understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Charlie, if you are pregnant, hallelujah. You can, maybe you didn't even know. Maybe you didn't know that you could give birth yeah. or you could get pregnant. And yeah. now you are pregnant. Charlie, take the baby and go. What does it mean by, my mom says she wants to know whether you are... Yeah, it doesn't make sense are, to me. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? And unfortunately, I think, uh, Lola, I think that, you know... um. How do I put it? Probably, she was also thinking the same aspect. Oh, it's been a long time. We've been together probably five I've years or so. Before. I know Martin doesn't like that thing. Like, you know, you've been <laughs> together for a long time. So what, that kind of thing. So, okay. And then she, out of the spell of the moment or the fact that her wedding is going to be canceled. You know, we women, I've told everybody, we bought gele, we bought things, mm -hmm. lace and things. 30 minutes before the going to the priest, if I have to. I'm going to leave you. Yeah. I, I think we should, um, that, that, like you said, that, that, that thinking of the past, women should be empowered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not to be afraid of those situations because right now I'm sure she's thinking, okay, it, but... And thanks be to God that in recent times I see men who are not afraid to get married to a woman who has a baby. Some men are even okay mm -hmm. to to have a woman who has two kids three kids they will gladly hug you let's get married me cry they want to stress you you know after marriage so if you have a baby bring her me i have one i have two let's put them together mm. let's enjoy this marriage thing together besides marriage is just not giving birth mm -hmm. you know it is a marriage between the both of us one of the things that i've been saying for the longest time is that i would want to enjoy my husband mm -hmm. because the moment a child comes in Oh, it wow. changes everything. Everything. It changes everything. So, if now you have a baby with this sad man, it means that you're even starting without not knowing him. It doesn't matter if you guys have been together for five years. You cannot know someone that in-depthly until you have lived with them. Yeah. Because some men, they are not clean. But the moment he knows you're coming to visit him for two, three days, he will put everything in order. A shout out That's to those good. people. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. He's putting in effort. He's putting in effort. <laughs> yes, that's good. I mean, let's, let's, let's not sit here and, and make it look like Charlie is just a small percentage of guys. In <laughs> fact, Miss Fadu saw him before. I mean, let's not. <laughs> it's not like we are dirty we per are se. Yes, but yes. yeah, you at least you, you, you want to impress, on, right? Yes. You want to impress. Yeah, yeah, oh, I mean, so uh, you want to impress. I think even the ladies do the same. We don't do the same. We always clean up. Charlie, you know. Right now, me, I'm not going to like go and see my room right now and say, it's a business. It, uh -huh. My clothes, the wash ones are still on my bed. Let me see the truth and shit. But now, you see, there's something about the story that interests me. I think I didn't touch on that. The very last sentence says, I, I don't love him as I used to anymore. Charlie, that's I was it. just about to go to it. So our, our lady here was, was talking about, sorry, your name. Marion. Marion. Okay. So Marion. Marion. Yes. Okay. So Marion talked about the fact that um, you need to know someone, right? Mm-hmm before you get married to mm -hmm. them. And then some of the girls, she mentioned that some of the girls will think, oh, we, we haven't been together long enough, so I don't know him. Listen, whether you've been together for a year, two, three, five, ten, if you still didn't know the guy, the only thing you needed to know about the guy is what you have found out now. Okay. Thank your stars. Mm -hmm. You never truly know people until. until such moments when he can't trust you and when, like, which sane person would say, oh, I want to find out if she can. What about you? What are about you, you the guy? <laughs> are you fertile yourself? You see, that's what <laughs> one of the callers was saying, that every time there's a, an issue between a couple and they can't have kids, the first person they it's go the to woman. is the woman. It's the woman, yeah. I mean, I, th I think it's a colloquial, 
you know, line thinking, of thinking, yeah. um, which we have to. And these days, I don't like, I, I heard you talk about the fact that it's God that gives um, children. It's a blessing, right? Yeah. But Charlie, Martin, these days, having a child is not so much of a very big deal because there are so many scientific ways to conceive, to have to have kids, you know. So, yeah, I mean, the fact that she has just discovered that because of what happened between him and the guy, whether involving the mom or not. And so for that matter, she doesn't really feel the same way that she does. That's your cue to move on. No matter how painful it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. No matter how painful it's going to be. Because you never know the next thing he's going to talk about and say, my mom says. My mom is now going I, to decide how much yeah. I give to you monthly. Oh my God. Yeah, and, I, and, and, <laughs> yeah and, and the guy is clearly, I think one of you mentioned it. He's clearly not stable. No, I mean, he doesn't I, have a mind of his own. own yeah. Even if it's not his mom. This is a guy that can be easily manipulated, you know, to, to do whatever other people think that means he, somebody he from do. outside could say i saw your i saw your woman with martin you know how martin can be yeah meanwhile martin too hasn't done mm, anything then mm. you come home angry at you won't talk to you give you cold should i maybe not talk to you for three days mean to you've not done anything i think the girl should just flee run mm. see, i disagree at i mean some things that coffee said okay cool. okay go ahead um, darling <clears throat> you need not know the person that you're gonna get married to huh you need not know no why? You only get to know the person after you're married to the person. Really? Well, I, I don't I, like surprises. I don't like surprises. You so wouldn't know everything. You wouldn't know me until yeah. you're married to me. Oh. I will be the that sweetest person. Mm. Like we're here for them. So we get married and I start staying out. Mm -hmm. That is when I'm, I need time with my boys and all that. You need That's time why with I what? always say that don't marry who you think you love. But learn to love the person you marry. Okay. There is no angel anywhere. Mm -hmm. You get it? There is no perfect person anywhere. So you always make sure you learn the ways of the person you are with and learn to love that ways that you know. Mm. But when you're picking... But you must love the person first, right? Something no. about the person should <laughs> really? keep you. Yesterday we had a conversation and one of the things I took from what the lady said yesterday from Regina and Vigil about, you know, looking past certain things and looking at the person's soul. How is a person like? How does a person treat other mm -hmm, people? Mm -hmm. So if you're attracted by who the person is and what the person does, how they treat other people, then you know that sometimes it translates into something better. Then yeah. like, I think you can add that, then you can love who the exactly. person is. Yeah. So I think sometimes, I, I loved what they said so much yesterday. Look beyond the features, the stature, everything, and then look out for the person. Do, do people still consider those it things a lot? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, when you're oh, growing okay. up, that is what... When you hit the 35s going, mm -hmm. mm. hey. oh, <laughs> oh, not really. I don't oh, think. Yeah. Okay, Please. you're talking about the first. I know somebody that can introduce okay. you okay. to a nipani on tissue or tissue slim. Uh, Tall and they see spark the on tissue boom. On they still are searching for this. Well, I, I think it still it still matters to an extent. An extent. To an extent. Yeah, an extent. To an extent. You understand? Like I think we've we've said this before. Yeah, I was. I like it. Yeah. You know. But I told you, I confess. I mean, now as I sit here in mid 30s, mid 30s. What the ending is I say? No, ah. what I go take do? Uh, okay. Do, do you understand? Yeah, but. So I would see it and just say, oh, wow, oh, that's, nice. that's, that's, that's good. That's but dope. You, you still want to keep the one that you have? If she is good, yes. Yeah. If she's not, hello. Hello bye. to another one. <laughs> hello, bye. Bye. Hello, <laughs> bye. bye. You understand? Uh -huh. you, you, we, are, we are done over but there. But before we, before we go away, um, I want to ask, how does a, a mama's boy transition to be like his own man? Mm. At what point does he, he needs to sit up and go like, oh my God, my mother is the one running my life and I need to have like my own say. I need to put my foot down because you can't have two women <laughs> that you, it's going to drive you crazy. It's a the, good question. This is go more first. like, okay. you see, that issue is more like masturbation. Uh -huh. Yes. It's for life. Okay. It mm. will be very difficult mm. to change such a person. Mm. The Holy Ghost. If mommy day. leaves, um, sister will do it. If sister is not there, friends will do it. Oh. That person will be controlled. So it's an inbuilt attitude. Not inbuilt. You're saying it from That's beginning. It. There's no way to help the person. It will oh, be there, very there is. Unless difficult. mommy is dead, yeah. sister I, is dead. I, I'm dead. surprised. I was going to say, I was going to confirm the fact that you probably would think that Martin and I had a meeting before coming. Because I, I, I was going to say wait, the same thing. It's more like a deliverance. It's more like a lifetime thing. Because it's just like growth, right? Hey. 
Once now I am five nine. I'm not going to be six zero or six one in thirty years. I'm gonna be like this. So it's it's just the same way as um growth in height. Once you hit it, that's it. You know, so if the guy has been a mommy's boy for thirty five years of his life, best believe the next thirty five he's con he's going to continue being a mommy's boy. It's it's like it's so dangerous, right? And I, I, yeah, no, yeah. You know, yeah. So, so like if you ask me, wait, he's never nanny like he. Oh, he can try. He can pretend as though he's the mummy's boy, right? He can pretend that like he's, he's not. Man. Sorry, yeah, like he's a man. He's not a mummy's boy, mm. but when S hits the roof. His true character is gonna come out. It will pop out. Uh huh. We are not saying if you find. You see, I always use myself as an mm -hmm. example, right? If I if I am facing serious um, issues mm -hmm. that I have to make very important decisions, I am likely going to my dad or my mom. Okay. Yeah. And the reason is that they are my friends. Yeah, that one I know for sure. They are my friends. I'd rather talk to my dad or my mom than talk to someone that I met here at Multimedia whom I don't know too much. Yeah. And my mom, my dad, my family, people that are very close to me mm -hmm. who are blood-related are better off keeping my dirty secrets than Najeli. I kept all your secrets. For example. I kept all, and I'm <laughs> Do you understand? That's so I'll say it's now. Okay. So when I finish, you spill it out. And that, and that will confirm why. Right, blood is I, thicker. Exactly. <laughs> blood is thicker than water. So so now, so, uh -huh, so so building on that, it doesn't mean you should run home every single time. Yeah. If you are, you are age 30 and above. And you have to go and seek your mom's consent on every single thing. You got a problem. Charlie, Udi Fortia is still the same. It's not It's not going to happen. Do you understand? <laughs> uh -huh. So, Charlie, <laughs> I don't think there is any other way. I don't think even deliverance will work. I have something to say. Dear you mom know why the boy. deliverance will not work? Debbie. Because before you take him to the pastor, he has I'm to seek permission to from the mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Ma, mom. Marion, say on me a call a... Yeah, you know, so it's sad, but um, sorry, yeah, it's sad, but, but I have it something to say, is. dear mommy's boy. I know we'll do again, <laughs> <laughs> but mommy's boy also did, they deserve love, though. They what they, they deserve they love, deserve. Nah. so so they end up with women that actually mummy them more like. I think every every man wants to mummy, that uh, I want, uh, yeah, I want to put us on your. Yeah. Marion, sweetheart, you have something to say. She because... has a lot, not something. Ooh, girl, are you crying? <laughs> I've been trying to suppress it. That's why I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but spill Ooh, it. Girl. Is, wait, hold on. Is there somebody lurking around as a mama's boy? No, run. No. Run. Girl, run. Take to your heels and run. <laughs> run like... Which one? Elijah or Elijah? Run. Which one? Elijah. Ah, you run. <sighs> okay, let's hear it. We are ready for I you. I love God. Oh, amen. I love God for the things he does with every season. Oh. Just last month into this week, <laughs> one of the things I've seen God dealing with is marriages. Mm -hmm. Preparing people for marriages. Mm -hmm. Because this very topic that the sweet gentleman <laughs> spoke about, God you has mean been dealing sweet, with it. Sweet gentleman. Oh, but anyways, so the Lord made us pray into marriages, mm -hmm. brokenness. Mm -hmm. I think mama's boys in this court are broken. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that the Lord made us pray is to heal before you get married. Heal in every aspect. I said this thing so many times. Heal as a mama's boy. Heal as a person who receives who validation issues? from people before they take certain decisions. Heal. So when Martin said that it's like masturbation, you cannot break from, I think is wrong. Yeah. Because I, you I, can I, heal. Yeah, you actually can. That's why I asked that, where is the Holy Spirit? You see, that's why I asked that question because I feel like there's a possibility that if you do those things. No, there, there is a possibility. Life is so spiritual that most often than not, 
when we find ourselves in certain spaces, we think that it, the spiritual aspect does not affect it. It yeah, affects everything. But the spiritual controls the physical. Definitely. So you want to get married to me and your mama's boy, and I get to know that your mama's, I, I cannot deal with it, then I'll flee. But if I can heal you, heal, help you break out from it, I will help you. If I, yeah, and even if we don't have to be together, I'll just help you and just so go, that go you my way. Yeah. You don't affect the next lady. Yeah, because it will be unfair. Hey, this conversation. And mothers, please. Huh? What have we done? From your children. We should work. Let them go. You have done your part. Mm-hmm. I let them let go. Let them go. Mm. But you know something? I think boys who are not smart tend to be mommy's boys. But I think also, after doing a lot of research with children and stuff, mm. um, the things we say to them either empowers them to make decisions on their own or make them come back to us. Because the little, the littlest of things, like, you know, allowing your little boy or little girl pick out her own choice of clothing, choose her own style, they start to figure things out. Solve problems on their own. I remember my son was sweeping in the kitchen. I wanted to tell him what to do. Then... One of my, you know, siblings put their hand on the shoulder and said, allow. Watch him. Don't let him sweep the way you sweep. Mm-hmm. Everybody can't sweep that way. Allow. A big shout to my younger brother. So I kept quiet. Then my younger brother came back and said that, didn't he sweep properly? Hmm. He, he, it doesn't matter whether it's from left to right yeah, or right to left. Way. He did his own way. And, and, the place is, and the place is clean, right? Right. My daughter did that to me. She just said, trust me. And I said, wow. Okay. So if we do those little, little things for them and allow them to, mm. I'm going to hang out with my friends. Okay, I'm giving you an hour. Go and come back. Mm. And able to come back in an hour. You've given them opportunity to do certain things. Mm. Allow them to make their choices. So I'll, I'll give context to what I said. I said, boys who are not, not smart. smart tend to be mommy's boys. And I want to use this platform to speak to them directly. Go ahead. Charlie, You're if, up if you know, say, you be mommy's boy. Mm-hmm. Be smart, bro. You know why? Because if you are not smart, then you don't tend to know where to draw the line. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Like, and I, I, I will always use myself as an example. I have times that I pick my mom's calls. Some of the times she's just worried. She just wants to find out what's up with the guy. Is he good? I want to do this for him, but I am good, mm-hmm. mommy. And I am not talking to you on that. So then she knows how many times you should call me in a week. Yeah. You have to put those barriers, but you got to be smart to do that. Yeah. In order not to breed this. Yes. You, you have to honor. Exactly. You understand? So you have to be smart enough. If you're not smart enough, that's when you allow everything and anything. Yeah. And including then, the kind of woman, and if you are a woman, the kind of man. Yeah. You have to set barriers. But you see, people that people who don't set barriers are not smart. You have to be smart to know what to tolerate, what not to tolerate, Mm -hmm. what to allow in, where to draw the line, and all those things. So, if you're a mommy's boy, please be smart. Your mommy, she did love you. You two, they love them. But I love not the means, say, 100% access. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, you have to move away from the family, from your dad, from your mom, and from your sisters, and have a life of your own. So, Charlie, I mean, that's what it is. But this story that you shared today, dear, that girl, (laughs) best believe she should leave. So it's the best thing for her to do. Thank you guys so much. I've enjoyed the conversation. Eh? And as a mother with a son, I need to do better. With sons, I have nephews around me that, you know, I don't play about. We need to do better and allow them. And then stop making them, you know. You know, sometimes there's this saying that, you know, a son's first love is the mother. Yeah. We over, you know, we overdo it. We overdo it. Then sometimes we even leave their husbands behind. Mm-hmm. Dear mm, husband, we are very one. sorry. We are very, very sorry. Marcin, we are sorry. Kofi Eford, we are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. Marin, I loved the angles at which you came from because Thank you. people need to understand that life is not a, it's not a physical thing. It's very spiritual. You can't sit on the fence. Big shout going out to Reverend Francis Auburn. He always reminds me of that. One thing. Where? You see, I believe in God. Mm-hmm. 
but the church is a major problem in marriages. Ah, walking with day. That's another topic for another Yeah, day. but that's a good... Co- you see, Martin, we say we're going to sit down with drinks and other I really, I, 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 yeah. I'm really yeah. need I also want to have that I want to have this So this thing, can yeah. we can we plan a date to have this thing? Yeah, Same I'm three in. people. I'm, I'm going to bring some Martin, nice I love drinks. the topic. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know me already. Let's yeah. make a party out of it. No, he's been saying it a lot. And I think he was like, oh, let's find time and sit down and talk about Martin. I think it's something we should talk about. Because the more we do... And we, ha- we should add somebody who has a little more spiritual experience. It, because every day we learn. And look, there's a lot I've learned this afternoon. I'm sure a lot of people have. Look, I love you guys. Martin, you see the way I hugged you this morning. I rad it. Ah, so Baby you boo. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Abana boo. Wait, wait, come back. You've put on my... Uh, I thought my mic was off. I put it on, so everybody... Right, when you finish, come and hug me. Uh, wait, then don't go and come to hug you. Marion, I love you. Mwah. Marion. Big shouts going out to everybody for doing the listening, your contributions. And I adore you so much. Big shouts going out to everybody who sends 